Ooh. I love that kick. Now punch that guy. Gosh dang it, Takumi. Ooh, smart brain. Is it smart brain for the smart boys? Is that a smart guard? Ooh, into the goo with you. We've made so much goo. Goo toxin. They're getting attacked. Are they getting attacked because of their goo? I'm assuming that's a tough door. So they're punching very hard, maybe. Does that mean that the guard in the front is absolutely obliterated? Because if they're about to do that to a steel door, I, I just can't imagine what they did to that smart guard. I could not make out what that was supposed to be. Aha! Screw your goo! It is the anti-goo police. Oh, there was something in the goo? <gasps> He hatched a belt out of the goo. Now he can keep his pants up. Even monsters don't want to sag. Wait a sec. <laughs> but this guy already put the moves on a girl, apparently. Look at this. These two are a couple. Hi. He sure does like his scissors. <laughs> He's like, yep, I got a cute girl. He's having such a good day. Would suck if Truck Coon came and ruined it. He's not just a coma. He's probably in a completely other world at this point. Good job, Truck Coon. And all of a sudden, he dies. Hey, yo. Oh gosh, he's live! Kill it! <laughs> Alright, cute girl. It's pretty cool having like a leading girl that also rides the rides the motor motorcycle. Slorp. <laughs> oh, she destroyed that. Oh, she's going in. Is he not into it? <laughs> Takumi just kind of watched all of that. Huh. Wasn't expecting Hatsune Miku today. Be smart. True life is gonna start. <laughs> the commercial at the end. He was very cold. You know, just uh, observing this as a rewatch. You know, from the standpoint of somebody who's watched the series already. Uh, going back to this first episode, it's kind of crazy how how many of the characters they not necessarily introduce, but how many of the important characters that they at least show just in the first few minutes here. First half of this first episode. And it's also kind of hard to tell who the main character is uh, because we're, we're seeing a whole lot of this Yuji guy. And of course, he does go on to be uh, one of the key players of the series. But you don't necessarily expect him to be like the first character that we meet. <laughs> you know, because he's not he's not Fives. He's not the titular character, um, but he does. He is pretty important. In fact, so far, the uh, the main character, our main character, <laughs> the titular character, Common Rider Fives, is just kind of was chilling in the background. <laughs> just kind of coming in, watching watching the girl eat, destroy that plate. Speaking of, you know, we, we know more about Mari than we do uh, Takumi right now. She has a bike, has dudes follow her. <laughs> she eats. <laughs> and she, she takes in a lot really quickly. <laughs> You know, pretty much all without having much of a conversation with her. We, we see a whole lot of her character just to kind of in that sequence there, you know? Yeah, it's really interesting to see how many of these characters get, you know, shown or introduced uh, in this first episode before we even get to Takumi. This series in particular does focus a whole lot on the development of multiple characters aside from just Fies. And that does become the most engaging thing about this this season of Common Rider is the drama that develops between the characters, and um, they are laying down a whole lot of groundwork here <laughs> because they are introducing. When we're like really getting like really like 
really engaged with Yuji's character at the beginning here. Like you would think that he might be like Kamen Rider Pies if you have not seen like any anything prior, any like opening. And and it is notable that they don't show the opening here. And I think that might be it is to make it so that you don't uh, you don't right away establish for yourself who the main character is, who Common Rider Fies is, unless you like watch promos beforehand. <laughs> like um, I don't want to really say it's like a bait and switch, but it is to kind of set in motion that Common Rider Fies, although he is the titular character and will be the main character, he's not um everything the show is about. <laughs> So that's really cool. <laughs> I almost respect it. <laughs> You're just following this girl around. You're not causing people trouble. Ugh, they're all taking pictures with her. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know she's a cute girl, but you guys are really treating her like an attraction. <laughs> quick leave while they're taking a dump oh also is it different from the monster at the beginning of the, the episode oh no oh no oh his entire heart is gone <laughs> quick leave while he's t-posing that's right you don't have to accept his dominance He can't be dead if he's not here. Oh, he knew right away. He also knew that you're Yuji right away. And what kind of relationship do they have? Man, he was grabbing that arm. He might be a jerk. Oh, I gotta draw the line at face touching, pal. Oh, jeez. Face touching? How about face disintegrating? Why is, why is he laughing? Oh, he got got too! Whoa. Yes, Takumi. Make yourself sound more like a villain. Oh, and now Yuji's being the creepy ex-boyfriend. Ooh. Amari would struggle at Among Us. Gosh, it's crazy how he's like... First name basis already. Ooh. Oh no. Oh boy. Man, she tried. She had the motions down and everything. <laughs> She's like, alright, I'll put it on you now. Here we go. <laughs> right, going through the whole transformation sequence for him. A shiny man. Ooh. I love that kick. Freaking out. Ooh, get slapped. <laughs> Kinda deserved it. Ooh, punches junk. Oh, summoning the sword. Oh. Yeah, <gasps> just disintegrate your heart. That's so brutal. <laughs> now punch that guy. Gosh, dang it, Takumi. Punch him more. Oh my gosh, with the wrist flick. I love it. Ooh, with a kick. Put my foot on you. Is it there? You see it? That was a kick from a rider, but it was not necessarily a rider kick. But at the same time, totally rad. <laughs> Ooh, open your eyes for the next fives. <laughs> uh, always loved that. But yeah, pretty cool first episode. <laughs> um, it really gets you engaged with just some some guy's life story there. <laughs> His conflicts. It makes you want to know more about him. Another fascinating stance that it takes is that it really, at first, makes make our protagonist, um, as well as Yuji, look 
and sound like villains. <laughs> Takumi just kind of creepily coming up to Mari, saying just kind of stereotypical like villain speak. <laughs> and he also has like the black overcoat and just that just makes him look a little bit devious. You know what I mean? Just like traditionally. <laughs> um, and Yuji, his story just sounds like a freaking um, just a villain's backstory. <laughs> but little do we know at the beginning of this um, with just this first episode uh, that those these two are just like the nicest that nicest guys, <laughs> nicest guys we're gonna meet in this uh, in this show. But you know that does fall in line with you know just a common writer, just classic common writer. Just looking at common writer design, he looks like a villain. Because <laughs> he was made to be a villain. He was made to be the grasshopper augment. He was made to be another soldier, another leader for um, for Shocker. But it turns out Takashi Hongo is one of the nicest dudes. <laughs> Just like Takumi here, picking up the mantle for that, being a new common Rider. But the common Rider of his time anyway. But yeah, really interesting first episode. <laughs> I just really like the way it um, it starts to develop the characters, develop develop not the titular character, but show us uh, other characters that will be more important. Because you know we're gonna have plenty of time to develop Takumi, develop Common Rider Fize's character, but uh, we do have to be able to sign off on the intrigue in you know the more supporting side of the protagonists. Yuji's story and they've given us a really strong pathos in um, developing Yuji's story for us to follow with starting you know before he was comatose and just his world getting turned upside down after he miraculously wakes up something that we should be happy about but he can't be because just nothing in his life is the same anymore <laughs> and now he's this crazy horse and he <laughs> He has a sword. Just just murdered a dude. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, Common Rider 5 is one of my favorite Common Rider series. Um, another Toshiki Inoue Common Rider classic. Or maybe just Tokusatsu classic. <laughs> um, but anyway, in the comments, tell me your thoughts on Common Rider 5. Have you watched the series? Is it your favorite Toshiki Inoue Tokusatsu series? Let me know. If you had fun along with me, go ahead and give this video a like and share it with a friend so that they too can become a parallel hero. And if you want to support what we're doing on the channel, go ahead and check out the Action Some Action merch shop. A link in the description. Check out all the designs that we have there already, and there are more in the works. So look forward to that. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in the next Smackdown Pact adventure.